All right. At this time, I'm just going to be frisking you. You are detained. But just so you are aware of your rights, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney present if available. If you cannot afford one, we'll be appointed to you by the state. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? Yeah. All right, cool. Still want to talk to me? Uh, I mean, depends if you guys are going to do what she is doing over there. What, like arrest you? Well, I mean, she's saying he's getting disobeying peace officer for just fucking following his truck. It seems like mm. you guys are being mean. So, like, me? I'm not being mean. I'm well, I mean, being she's being mean. This guy, this guy is like a friend. So, I mean, shit. Mm, shit if, I it's gotcha. if it's gonna be standard procedure uh, in this current instance, then I think I should probably stay silent for now. Okay, that's fine. Do you have anything on you that's gonna stick poke prod me? Yeah, I got a hunting knife. A hunting knife? All right, I'm just gonna be uh, checking for the hunting knife. Where is it on your person? So my front left pocket, man. Front left pocket. It's also okay, legal, let's take a man. Look and it's also has my ID on it, bro. All right, perfect. And who am I talking to here? Jane Paul, bro. Jane Paul, perfect. All right, your uh, your front left pocket is clear. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm gonna get back at the end, though. No, it's a, it's a. Well, of course, yeah. I mean, why would I take it if you didn't use it for a crime, right? That ass. Yeah, that is. Alright. So, so you, so you need to understand. Else on you? So before we, we get into this like tenfold, like super long, like crazy go to the police station type thing, you may, you uh -huh. guys should probably talk to your office over there and um, ask her like what she did. Yeah? Okay, it would probably sure. give you well, a better picture of what happened because um, the whole story will probably change dramatically based on what she says. Alright, well, wh if you want to, you don't have to. You could tell me what happened, and then uh, well, we can just. Compare it seems details. like pretty standard entrapment, if you ask me. Like, mine had a hunting knife. Uh, no gun. So we're just chilling, and then. Um, Are you cool with me writing this down? Sure. All right, perfect. Sure. So like, um. We're just chilling, and then something falls on the ground, and then this lady over there, she's like, yo, pick it up, or some shit. And he did, nobody picked it up. We just looked at it, you know? And then she says, get in the car and drive away. So we get in the car, and we drove away. And that's pretty much how it is. There's nothing else to it. She told you to get in the car and drive away. I am not even kidding. I swear on everything. She said, get in the car and drive away. And she let us get away. Like, not there's anything to get away from, but we didn't know what to do. Like, if you're, if you're instructed to drive and get away, I mean, what am I going to do? So we just drove. We didn't even flee. Like, after that, she pulled up over here. So we just pulled over. It's pretty, pretty much a simple story, really. So we don't really know like what is going on here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. All right, well. All right, is it cool if I remove your mask real quick? Uh, I'd better keep it on, but I mean. It's just so I can get a, just a clear identification of who I'm talking. It's not my coolest haircut, you feel? Is that right? <laughs> I can take it off if you want, but I don't uh, like the haircut. I mean, I could take it off for you. <laughs> sure. All right, let's just don't take the hat off. No. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Hat hair. My bad. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. Man, y'all motherfuckers are doing it on purpose.